How we going out there YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is episode 2 of Game Hunting and um, we did really well last time with the Nintendo 64 lot that we picked up but this time I've got three shops to show that I went into. Um, one of them is a second hand store and two of them are just retail stores. But one thing that I do really want to say is it pays every single time you go into a shop doesn't matter if you've been there five times, ten times in the past Always say, do you have anything out the back that perhaps doesn't work, that's incomplete, that's video game related, I'm a collector. And most of the time, they actually do have things out the back that's either not checked in yet, um, is missing one lead perhaps, or maybe it's missing a controller. Just for the most stupid reasons, you find gaming systems for super cheap. The best deals because people don't know what they're looking at so it really pays to ask anyway guys I'll go to the first shop and I'll show you what I got let's start hunting So much. Not many games. Ooh. Oh, that's so funny. Might get there. Bunch of games. I didn't see them earlier. <laughs> Nothing really. No, I won't. Oh, 
Seven. Wouldn't mind that, but that's a lot. Everything. Uh, we're okay. Hello. Hello Kitty Racing. Are you going to get this one? 15. It's pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. Vita. 37. We're gonna get that for 10. Let's see how we go. Yeah, hell yeah. I'll pick that up. Okay, so just showing off a bit of what we got here. So from CEX, the first store, that's like a second-hand goods store. They do all games as far back as like uh, GameCube and PlayStation 2. Anything disc-based, they won't go before that because they say they can't warrant it even though I think cartridges last longer anyway but uh so the first game that I got from there was this Game of Thrones game for the Xbox 360 now I've played the Telltale one but I've never actually seen this one and I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan except for the last season obviously um it looks quite good and I mean to get some gamer score I'm definitely keen for that one uh just randomly I thought I would pick up this one for six dollars, Dark Angel. It's actually it's like a nineties throwback. It's Jessica Alba when she's like fucking eighteen, looks like. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cool for PlayStation 2, honestly. I mean I don't mind a bit of action in my games and a bit of Jessica Alba in my games. <laughs> um so yeah, that was the first store. Did pretty well. Okay, now the, the Salvation Army, the second store, I actually, um, it really surprised me. So, initially I walked in and I only saw this game, which I have not seen before, don't know that developer, so, I mean, it could be hit or miss, you know, pun not intended, even though it's a one-shot, one-kill sniper game, but, yeah, I hope it's a hit, and we get some gamer score as well for that. And then, out of nowhere, I saw this for $4. I mean, I love the Expendables movies. They're so funny, so over the top. And just all of the best action movie guys ever, basically, from Hollywood. So, excellent movies. Really keen to see the third one. And I couldn't say no to... I love me Olympics games and Olympics in general. So, 2004... So, this is like the second Olympics game I've actually bought this week. I have the Sydney 2000, and now the Athens 2004. So, yeah, they're really fun to compete and, like, have a bit of fun. So, the, the thing that really made this store amazing is... I went to the counter, um, I thought this is all they had, and I was like, look, as I said, do you guys have anything out the back? And then she brings me this entire bag of stuff... And I literally couldn't believe the amount of stuff I got. And she's like, yeah, just just have everything for $20. Oh, $30, sorry. So, this is all the stuff I got. So, there was two PlayStation 2s in there. Um, I got a controller. I got a PS1 memory card. A PS2 memory card. Um... I got, this is the, hang on, I'll show you that in a second, I got one, two, Harry Potter, five Harry Potter games, which I remember playing the first and second ones on the PlayStation 2 when I was younger, they were fucking amazing, like, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but the games were re actually really fun, uh, also, this was thrown in, I mean, it was just everything in this bag, this has like, uh, me and my missus are gonna play this one. She loves the Disney stuff. I'm not gonna sing, but 
you know, whatever. It was all thrown in part of the package. And, and, this is what I did as well. So I was like, oh no, look, you know, it's not complete. Um, oh, sorry. I was like, yeah, it's not complete, you know. I was like, can you, can you throw in this controller as part of it? And she's like, yeah, yeah, just take it. It's a PlayStation 3 controller. So, I mean, that was a smart move. And I said, oh yeah, and it needs the remote as well. So I got the remote thrown in for free as well. PlayStation 3. <laughs> I believe this is the responder for it. And also, I told her this is required for the Singer Star game, so it was chucked in. I'm not sure if it's PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3, but I've never actually had a webcam for them, so that's great as well. And that's just the game for the Singer Star. A few decent tracks, whatever. Uh, also, in the bottom of the bag, I mean, it's just crazy, like, the amount of stuff that they don't put out on the shelf. I got Tony Hawk's skateboarding, the first one, pretty highly praised. Tony Hawk's 2, this is one of the best games of all time, according to Metacritic. And, I mean, I've played it growing up, and I loved it. It was so good. You can just, it's over the top. Unrealistic, arcadey, but that's exactly what makes it fun. And I got the third one as well. So, I mean, $30 for all of them Harry Potter games, the two PlayStations, the PS3 remote, um, yeah, the, the, the webcam, the control, the, the other remote here, I mean, that was just an absolute steal. So, it really pays to ask. Okay, so from JB Hi-Fi, which is the store I went into last, it's just like a, a gaming and hi-fi music store here in Australia, if you guys don't know. Um, the first thing I picked up was this. I've seen it go for $50 all day long. It's factory sealed. Uh, $15. I mean, my missus loves this stuff. So we can either resell it or she can play that one. And I got, as, oh, as you guys saw on camera, this for $10. It's a ch charging cradle for the 3DS, which isn't exactly necessary, but I want to have, once I get the new cabinet set up, which I still haven't done, I want to have this side by side with my Wii U and my Wii and my Switch, just all there together, so I just figured it would be a nice addition. Um, and also, as I said, I found this factory sealed. I've seen this go for $120 on eBay, factory sealed. Um, this is what they had it as. Um, I knew if I asked about this game, they had it in a clear, like a clearance bin where everything was $10. They checked the barcode. This was still $37, but I said like, okay, well, can you just do it for $10 considering everything else is $10? And they were like, yeah, sure. So, where is it? $25. Oh, yeah, that includes the... That includes everything, so... Yeah, we went back on a different transaction. But that was, that was an absolutely amazing deal, so it really pays to ask. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy my second game hunting video. A little bit of modern stuff, not as much retro. But I'm really going to keep my eye out for complete inbox games. And I've actually picked up two really awesome Super Nintendo Complete Inbox games that I will show off in the next episode. So stay tuned, take care of yourself, and have a good one.